Pusat Jenis Pintar Negara is a gifted center provides a gifted education for gifted children across the nation from diverse background. What inspired me to join the IP? Well, when I think about the IP, the first thing that comes to mind is opportunities. You get to learn all the important pure science subjects and while taking additional DIP courses such as computer science and technopreneurship. In computer science and PBL, I have learned how to code a website using HTML and PHP. I also learned how to develop games using Scratch and JavaScript. I was inspired by the things I could achieve or create like a robot or a program or anything fun in general. And I feel like I am more welcome to the future due to the subject activities like computer science, curriculum vitae, and it just prepares us more for the future. At MDEC, our vision is to cultivate a thriving and dynamic digital economy ecosystem in Malaysia. We actively foster connections between academia and industry players. We believe in nurturing talents right from the early stages of education as it lays a proper and strong groundwork for honing natural abilities. This is why MDEC collaborates with educational facilities and actively support development initiatives like the Digital Innovator Program, or DIP for short, in addressing the rising demand for skilled digital professionals. Our DIP students equipped with an advanced digital maker space or DMS. So DMS allows students to unleash their creativity without boundaries, to solve real-world problems and to sharpen their entrepreneurial skills. We have a lot of facilities which is we have game console, we have a drone, we have 3D printing. So students can use all of this to make sure that they more understand about this item. So DIP students actually have this extra subject called technopreneurship which is a subject that teaches students how to use technology and also entrepreneurship to create business that introduces new ideas to the market. So technopreneurship has taught me creative thinking and also how to pitch my ideas to a large audience. Majority of these students haven't exposed to this technopreneurship subject formally before. I will support them throughout the learning process and guide their thinking process as an entrepreneur at, even at a young age. I actively support my children's tech interests by offering educational resources and tools that match their curiosity. We explore coding games together and creative software, fostering skills like problem solving. It is fantastic to see MDEC, Ministry of Education and UKM collaborating to establish DIP. Their efforts are truly commendable in shaping a brighter future for our children. As parents, it is crucial for us to recognize the importance of preparing our kids for the future. Enrolling them into programs like DIP or similar institution is a protective step towards equipping them with the skills they'll need. It's about setting them up for success in the rapidly evolving world. The rapid advancements of technology over the past few years and the impact of COVID-19 has accelerated the adoption of digital transformation among industries and society. Currently, companies are looking forward to adopt new innovative technologies such as AI, machine learning, and real-time rendering from the game industry and to move forward for the next frontier. The digital world requires new job roles and new skill set among the young talents. Thankfully, the IP is providing the upskilling and reskilling required for the Malaysian workforce to adapt to this new technological advancement. So today, technology has become part of the industry. So it is very important uh, to have to be digital literate. From the beginning, we need to know what what's they are. We need to know how to navigate with them and also be aware of the emerging technology. This includes AI, cloud computing, robotics, programming and others. So these are the skills that we are looking today in the industry. I feel like I will be a CEO of a technology company or a high ranking in a technology company and creating new ideas, 
innovating new things. Hopefully, in 10 years, I hope to be a successful entrepreneur and have my own startup business. I actually see the potential in augmented reality technology, so uh, I hope that I can propel the, that industry into greater heights. I see myself continuing my computer science studies in a prestigious university overseas, expanding my knowledge and guaranteeing my future as a computer science coder.